Welcome back to Kang TV. I'm Kiana. And I'm Jessica. We want to start off with two top honors for the girls basketball team. Senior Rosa Smith was named the 2022 SB Live Washington Girls All-State First Team. And head coach Jeff Wilson was named Girls All-State Coach of the Year. Congratulations to Rosa and coach and to the team for an amazing season. Speaking of honors, congratulations to sophomore Andy Elkin who took first place at States for the PTSA's Reflection Competition. Andy won in the Outstanding Interpretation category with his original song, The World Will Change. His entry was one of 650 entries. Andy now advances to nationals. Good luck. The Elder PTSA is launching a contest to create a slogan and graphic for Earth Day. Entries should highlight the green goal for this year, which is reuse. The slogan should represent how students, their school, or community can help reduce the amount of waste we produce and how that action can lead to change. Entries are due next Friday, April 1st. The winner will be announced the week of April 18th. Pause this video and take a screen grab of the website to learn more. The PTSA is also busy on two major projects for seniors. First up, they're taking orders for Class of 2022 yard signs and car decals now through May 6th. A yard sign with name costs $16. Car decals cost $11. Bundle and save, get both for $25. Order online at lwhsptsa.org. Pick up at LDUB between May 23rd and 25th after school and evenings. Proceeds go to help fund the senior party. If you haven't gotten tickets for the senior party, get them now. Prices go up again on April 15th. You can order at the LWHS PTSA website above. Financial aid is also available. Talk to Jody Hull in the attendance office. Sadly, due to a lack of audition videos, tomorrow night's talent show is canceled. However, it's been replaced with the sing-along movie night with the greatest showman. Bring a $5 donation to the LDUB Theater and join your friends in a fun night of entertainment. Check out posters in the halls to see how you can get up on stage and lead part of a song. Remember that snow day we had back in January? Well, the district has decided that Tuesday, May 31st will be the makeup day, so that will now be a full school day for students. When we return from spring break, DAT and Saga will be selling Day of Silence shirts and buttons at the student store. All proceeds will be donated to the Lambert House, which is a local resource for LGBTQIA youth. The Day of Silence is April 22nd. We'll have more information soon about a day of activities. Students who are considering military careers or want to go on to a two or four year college but don't know what to study, the ASVAB Career Exploration Test can help. You can sign up to take the test next Tuesday, March 29th. Take a screen grab of this graphic for more information. The LDUB dance team leaves to compete at State tomorrow. We're sending all of our Kang power and Kang pride with them. If you're interested in trying out for the LDUB dance team, check out their website, ldubdance.org, and fill out a required interest survey. You can also scan the QR code on the poster on your screen or on their Instagram account. There will be an open dance clinic on April 30th for those who want to see what LDUB dance team is like before tryouts in May. If cheer is more your thing, check out an informational open practice next Monday or Tuesday from 3 to 5 in the LWHS Movement Room. You must attend one practice and no experience is required. A mandatory parents meeting will take place next Thursday at 7 in the library. Tryouts are April 18th through 22nd in the LWHS Movement Room. Here's a high five for the LDUB Robotics Club, code purple 5287. They competed at Sammamish High School last weekend and ranked second out of 31 teams, while their alliance ranked first in their event. Code Purple also won the competition's autonomous award. They're now ranked sixth in the Pacific Northwest region and advanced to districts. Congratulations. It's time now for a KSPN sports report. Two teams are in action today at home. The boys and girls track and field team takes on Hazen High School today at 4, while the badminton team competes against Newport High School also at 4. The girls varsity and JV tennis teams are at Bellevue High School today at 4. The boys varsity and JV soccer teams play at Interlake High School today with JV at 5.30 followed by varsity at 7.30. The C team's next game is Saturday at noon at Sammamish High School. 
The girls varsity softball team takes on Sir Home High School at home tomorrow at 5. The JV team plays next Friday at home against Mercer Island. The boys varsity baseball team competes at Bellevue High School at 4.30 tomorrow. The JV team plays Saturday at noon at Capitol High School in Olympia. The C team plays at Redmond High School this afternoon at 4. And the girls varsity and JV golf teams host Mercer Island High School at 3.30 p.m. at Bellevue Golf Course. That's all for this week's Kang TV News. Thanks for watching. I'm Kiana. And I'm Jessica. Have a wonderful weekend and go, go Kangs! Kangs!